Pay me a compliment, Melvin. I need one. A compliment is something nice about somebody else. This is a request from June. And now or never. Okay. Happy when it comes to fragrances and getting compliments, there are three factors to bear in mind. How often are you wearing your fragrance? Which environment are you wearing it in? Or which season are you wearing it in? And also, what is your appearance or personality like? Are you approachable and easy to give a compliment to? For this video, I'm gonna be going from number 10 to one, my least to most complimented fragrances, giving you my own personal stories with each one and what kind of compliments you may be able to receive. Before we get into the video, make sure to check out our new fragrance course that teaches you the foundations of the topic. It's 23 minutes long, it's completely free. Sign up for a free trial on Skillshare, and if you don't want to use the platform anymore, you can just cancel your membership before the 14-day trial ends. Let's get into the video. Class is in session. At number 10, we have Dior Sauvage. I have the EDP here, one of my first work daily fragrances. EDT just gets as many compliments. I know it's a common fragrance, but you'll be surprised at how many people ask you what you're wearing. Sauvage is a type of fragrance where if you know it, you can spot how common it is, but for other people, they may still appreciate this. Both guys and girls give this a lot of compliments, and the best compliment I've got with Sauvage is, you smell like a rich man. Number nine, Terre d'Hermes, the Eau de Toilette. In terms of scent quality, I'd put this at number one on this list, but this fragrance is not a compliment monster. It gets a good amount of compliments. This basically makes you smell like daddy. It's got this professional, mature vibe to it, combining orange and earthy vetiver with woods. Clean, distinct, and excellent perfumery here with really good performance. The Eau de Toilette seems to get me the most compliments, but the Eau Tre Fresh is also a good compliment getter. Number eight, the suspicious looking bottle of Perry Ellis Red 360. I said in the last video, this is the best cheap alternative to Aqua DGO. 95% similar, I would say. Slightly lower quality and a little bit sweeter with cinnamon, but overall much better value for money than the original Aqua DGO. This gets me more compliments than Aqua DGO Profumo, although of course Profumo is a better quality fragrance. This fragrance has got me compliments six hours into wearing it, which goes to show how good the performance is. It was a nurse colleague of mine who insisted that I smelled great, I smelled fresh. I thought this fragrance had worn off at that point, but she said, no, it's definitely from you. That's six hours into wearing this, guys. Fantastic value for money, as long as you don't mind the bottle presentation. Number seven, the discontinued Bulgari's Aqua Amara. I got this from the hype that Jeremy gave it, the strength of the ocean, a very strong fragrance indeed, lasting about 14 hours. It's linear, but it smells like a metallic aquatic orange that's sharp and professional. In the summertime, whenever I wear this, it gets me a lot of compliments from both guys and girls. It's sad that they discontinued this. If you can find it at a reasonable price, I definitely recommend it. It's a beast mode summer fragrance. Number six, of course, I was gonna have light blue intense pour on on this video. One of my most talked about fragrances on this channel, one of my first work daily horse fragrances as well. It's a loud, salty, aquatic fragrance. Everyone can smell this, so you're very likely to get compliments. In the summertime, this is when it's gonna work best. I got only three sprays and trust me, it projects loud enough. I don't talk about the women's version on this channel, which I will also recommend to you guys. I think it's unisex and guys can rock it. So both the fragrances, both genders are great for light blue intense. Going in an opposite direction, for winter time, Spice Bomb Extreme. Definitely only for cold weather. I go two sprays of this fragrance and it's a room filler, but it's a powerful, Compliment getter. It's a strong concoction of tobacco, spices, and vanilla. It smells delicious and seductive overall. This is the type of fragrance that mainly girls compliment you on. My ex loved this fragrance the most in my collection, and it's the type of fragrance where if someone catches this in the air, they will try to get more whiffs of it because it's so addictive. Beast mode fragrance, still the best spice bomb currently. Number four, Pure Isoe Super. If you simply want compliments and don't care about how complex or interesting your fragrance is, this is the best value for money. It's a clone of Eccentric Molecules 01. Don't spend too much money on that. Get this unbranded stuff, it's about a quarter of the price. They smell identical. And every time I wear this, especially from women, you will get a compliment guaranteed. You may not necessarily smell this. Isoe Super is a fragrance molecule that not everybody detects easily, but I get whiffs of it throughout the day. I'm getting about 10 hours longevity. So, compliment monster, especially from women, for an excellent price. 
ISO E Super. Number three, the original Allure Arm Sport by Chanel. No guys, not the OX Trim. I've said in previous videos that flanker does not get me compliments personally, although it is a great fragrance. This is the compliment monster for me. Basically guaranteed every time I wear this from both guys and girls, uh, I will get a compliment. It's got a good amount of performance, eight hours of moderate projection, and with how versatile this is, this is one of the greatest designers out there currently. Still great from 2004. Don't sleep on the original Allure Homme Sports, but try the OXTREM as well. Try both flankers out, see which one you prefer between this and OXTREM, but when it comes to compliments, I can definitely vouch for this one. Number two, Tom Ford's Oud Wood. Still one of the best fragrances in the private blend, in my opinion. I do have the older bottle here, which does have better performance. I'm getting at least eight hours, but even with the newer bottles, Oud Wood still gives you at least six hours. So even though it's been reformulated, it's still worth getting. It's one of the most masculine, woody Oud fragrances you'll smell. I don't think it's real Oud, I think it's synthetic, but hey, it still smells amazing. Both guys and girls compliment you on this. I've gotten lots of compliments, as has my friend who used to wear this all the time, every day. So this is a safe choice if you want compliments from the private blend, which in general can be a polarizing line in their fragrances. And number one, can you guys guess what it is? I've said it before in previous videos. Mancera Cedrat Boise. This has popped up in several top complimented lists, I believe. I think Michela from Curly Fragrance has said this is a big compliment getter. It is, it's unisex apparently, but I think this smells very masculine. It's a recreation of Creed's Aventus. Not necessarily a clone, but Mancera's take on the DNA. It's still that smoky citrus of Aventus, but instead of pineapple, they use blackcurrant, and instead of birchwood, they use leather. It's still a very similar vibe, but a different take. For an affordable niche that smells distinct and unique and the compliments you get with this, this is fantastic value for money. This is a great bridge into niche fragrances. Mancera in general is a good first niche brand to get into. I have gotten compliments from a woman that told me that Omar, you smell divine whilst wearing this, which is a big phrase to use. So I definitely can't doubt this fragrance. It gets me compliments pretty much every time I wear it. It's not necessarily my favorite fragrance, but I'll always recommend it to you guys if you want compliments. And that concludes the video, guys. I want to ask you two questions. What is your number one most complimented fragrance? And what is one fragrance that is your favorite that you wish got more compliments for you? Make sure to check out our new fragrance atomizer design in the description down below. I'll see you in the next video, guys. Class dismissed.